Have you ever seen a piece of art and felt like you need to own it? And what about art as an investment? Maybe you've seen a chart that made you feel like you need to invest in the asset class. This. This is the one. Fine art used to be only for billionaires, but now you can participate with platforms that offer fractional investing. The most well-known platform is Masterworks, and we'll be looking at their data here. And their charts look gorgeous. It's uncorrelated, low volatility, and historical returns stronger than equities. For an investor, that is stunning. The idea is that you couldn't access that performance before, and now you can. In a footnote, you can read that Masterworks does not offer securities that directly correlate to contemporary art. So why would you put a chart if it's not something that you can sell? So if we look at this contemporary art chart, the underlying is defined by Masterworks, who are also the distributor of the product, and it's based on a selected group of around 40 blue chip contemporary artists. The best part about controlling the data is that you can make it move. If you look closely at the older posts on the Masterworks website, you'll see a slightly different performance. It's hard to see clearly, and I'll put the links, but as the S&P went from one to about three, between 1999 and 2019, I estimate the art index for the same period goes from one to about 7.6 on the right, and one to 5.3 on the left. Okay, it's not very clear, but thankfully there's another reference and it's a solid brand, Citigroup. They publish an annual global art report and they use the Masterworks data. And initially, our data was 5.3%. What the fuck? The pitch becomes, it's an asset class that's underperforming equities by over 4%. If you're a marketer, you know it's not going to sell. So you have to do something about it. So how do we jump from 5.3 to 13.6? The trick is to adjust the product to the performance. So the 5.3% comes from a mix of contemporary and impressionist, like this nice Monet that Masterworks bought in 2018. But impressionists don't perform so well. We can get rid of them and focus on contemporary art. And instead of looking at anyone that's a contemporary artist, we'll select a group that we'll call blue chip, who are actually the best performers in terms of price action. And with that, we can see that we're already at 11.5, and then it needs just a bit more tweaking to reach 13.6, which is the current level. Maybe we can't trust the historical data, and it's a regression, it's complicated, but at least there's a historical track record too. If you look closely, it's just an internal estimate. Masterworks telling us that they think the prices are going up. There are great marketing skills here on display. Having stunning data is nice, but what's really great is that you're able to distribute it. Um, the blue chip segment of the art market has been outperforming the S&P for over 20 years. Um, the, the challenge, as you said, is the only way you can invest is if you have millions of dollars to buy a painting. So here's a personal collection from newsletters sponsored by Masterworks that arrived in my inbox in January 2022. What does that tell us about new asset classes, illiquid assets in particular? Well, viewers of this channel should know that you need to look at the data in a critical way. Being able to produce a chart doesn't mean that's a performance that you can deliver. If you want to know more, uh, there's a link in the description with a framework for assessing investment data. And if you're interested in Masterworks in particular, I've also made a video about their fees. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember to do your own research, invest in yourself, seek diversity in assets and people, and subscribe for more content about the future of investing without the hype.